Hey, welcome back to another vinyl review video. Today I'll be looking at the Defining Moment and Kid Name Chicago split 10-inch EP. Released in 2019, this 10-inch EP was in celebration of two bands from Tallahassee that made a mark in the local music scene, these bands being Defining Moment and Kid Name Chicago, which later formed the band Melee Parade. Originally made available at a live acoustic charity show held in Tallahassee at the Wilbury, the proceeds were donated to the Gift of Adoption Fund. The songs featured on this EP originally debuted between the early to mid-2000s. Now first thought I want to talk about the artwork. It's designed by Craig Beasley and it features some prominent landmarks from Tallahassee such as the State Capitol Building, the uh, Florida Historic Building and the Beta Bar where they used to play. It's a very detailed illustration that captures the history and memories of both bands and their impact on the music scene. And I like how on the back cover there's this image of this rehearsal space where there's not only just posters of notable bands but also gig posters of shows that they played in Tallahassee but also the photos of the bands themselves. The record is housed in a standard white paper in a sleeve and also includes a thank you sheet that also doubles as a gig poster for one of their shows. The record itself is on a 10 inch solid black heavyweight of vinyl, with side 1 dedicated to Defining Moment and side 2 dedicated to Kid Named Chicago. Now onto the track list, the song Hit The Lights, this is an aggressive fast paced song and it's interesting to still hear some elements of this in Derek's vocals in more recent songs. It also has a kind of a post hardcore kind of vibe as well as a cinematic ending. Sorry Garcia is a slower song out of the three tracks here but it also has its own sense of angsty undertones and sense of dread through Derek's singing and the use of gang vocals, the melodic guitar is also similar to that of what you find on Melee's debut EP. And now to the last song, Hot Shot, I think this is the one I enjoyed the most when I first came across their tracks, probably because of the way it reminds me of the energy they have in their debut album, it's even got a piano bit in the bridge, and I think just generally it's the most catchiest one out of the three. And now to side two for Kid Named Chicago, the first song winner winner, I mean, you know, just as much as every song that Jason has been a part of and the work he's been doing over the years, he's always able to demonstrate his excellent vocal range through the energy, the emotions able to put through and convey through the lyrics, and I think in this one he really does that. And now onto the second song, Inside Out, this one kind of kicks off with an opening line that's very reminiscent but also has this kind of uh, signature Jason Lancaster style to it which I really enjoy through the emotion that he brings. You can also hear Ellen that gets carried through into Tales Top Dead Friends with this one. And now onto the last song, Fire Over LA. This is probably the heaviest, loudest, most aggressive song out of the collection here. It reminds me a bit of When I Get Home You're So Dead, as well as Jason's later work on Logo Radio. It's also definitely an interesting way to see the darker side to the band, as well as seeing their work under The Last Try carried over and bleeding into the work under Kid Named Chicago. Overall, I think it's a great set of songs that demonstrate and highlight the origins of this band and their sound, how they've had experience to create these type of tracks that we learn to recognise in things like Tales Top Dead Friends and Lesser Romantics as well as Jason's later work on the Go Radio uh, through the experience in creating you know, longer form tracks, the use of melodic guitars, the overlapping vocals, the urge to headbang to the drums and even the mellow bits with the piano. And just generally I think I find it very impressive that even 20 odd years ago they were able to achieve this type of work and makes me even more proud of them to see the music and the community that they've helped create since then. And that does it for my review of the Defining Moment and Kid Named Chicago Split EP. If you found this video helpful and enjoyed in some way, please feel free to show your support by liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel and following me on socials if you want to. And also let me know in the comment section about what you think. Until then, I'll see you next time.